there, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Slater, and this year we're going to make art rule. But before we do, we have some important things we need to talk about. Most important about how we're going to make this all happen. Now before we can get to art making, let's talk about how to spell the word art. A-R-T. Each letter stands for something. The A stands for aim. In art class, you should always aim to do your best and to do what's right. The R in art stands for respect. You should have respect for yourself, your friends, and the art room. The T stands for trust. You need to trust in yourself and trust in your ability to learn. Art can sometimes be frustrating, but just when you think you can't do it, mwah, masterpiece complete. Yay! This year, we will be drawing, painting, sculpting, and other fun stuff. But before we can get to all of that, we need to talk about art room routines. When going to art class, it's important to walk in a quiet, straight line. This is definitely not how to do it. Instead of telling your friends to be quiet, simply remember to set an example and give me two to remind your friends. Let's see that again. I love how they are walking in such a nice, quiet, straight line. Wonderful job! The line of tape on the floor is not a balance beam. Instead, it's a guideline for you to know where to walk and where to line up. So please use it that way. The three lines on the floor in front of the circle table are guidelines to show you where to sit. Please do not just sit anywhere on the line or move people out of the way. Also, please no spinning on the floor. That will only get your clothes really dirty. We also don't need to lay down. Get up, Miss Brooke and Mrs. Valkenberg. Instead, walk all the way to the end of the first row, filling it in, making sure not to leave any spaces. We can respect our friends by keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. That is so much better. When we go shopping for supplies at my table, it's important to stay in a line and not reach in front of your neighbor. Here's what we do. When we're on the floor, we stand up and that's the line we are in, following the person in front of you, giving them plenty of space to gather their supplies. Ah, that's beautiful, beautiful. You better believe these four are going to end up in time out if they keep this up. Please make sure you're respectful of the art supplies and your friends. Much better. When it's time to clean up, it's important to follow cleanup procedures and to clean up after yourself, making sure to take turns at things like the drying rack and taking time to push in your chair. That was definitely the wrong way. Let's see how to do it the right way this time. Everyone should be pushing in their chairs, walking carefully to the drying rack, waiting your turn in line, and then carefully placing your painting on the drying rack, starting at the bottom and working your way up. Great job, Miss Brooke! Back at your table, make sure you clean up all of your art supplies. Mrs. Valkenberg's got the right idea. Let's watch her do it the right way while everyone else is doing it the wrong way. Does anyone else even know how to clean up? They're leaving supplies on the table, forgetting to put away their aprons, and as you can see, while they're lining up, they are talking in line. Oh no! Here's the right way. When they heard me say it was time for their table to clean up, they all gathered their art supplies, pushed in their chairs, but oh no, Miss Brooke forgot her chair. Well, look at that, Mrs. Dunn. She helped out Miss Brooke and pushed her chair in for her. What a nice friend. 
Everybody's putting their brushes in the sink, nicely putting their aprons away, and they're forming a quiet line showing me that they are ready to exit art class. Thanks guys, you're awesome. Remembering our routines of how we walk in the hallway, walk in the art room, get our supplies, create, clean up, and line up are really important. It's gonna make sure that we have an awesome time making art. All right, are you excited? I know I am. <laughs>